Good morning, St. Barnabas. Um, won't you bow your heads and join me as I lead us in prayer this morning, beginning with a few verses from Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, you heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendour of his holiness. Lord God, we worship you today just for who you are. We praise you for the attributes of your voice, majestic and powerful. In a world with so many loud voices, it needs to hear your truth. We thank you for Jesus, who is the final voice of God. He is the word of God. We pray that your voice would thunder across the world today, that all men may know that you alone are God. And in his temple all cry glory. We pray for those, Lord, who do not know you. Their destiny is that like chaff they'll be blown away in the wind and they will not stand in the judgment. But you are a just judge. We ask you to be merciful. In your patience, Father, we ask, there is still time for our leaders, for our government, for our families, our parents, our spouses, our grown children, our grandchildren, our friends. Lord, may the scales be dropped from their eyes that they might join the congregation of the righteous and be saved for all eternity. And Father, we are so thankful that you have kept the St Barnabas family safe throughout the pandemic so far. And as we prepare to return to services next Sunday, please continue to keep every one of us safe and free from the virus. May it be a joyful reuniting after so many months apart and doing church at home. We know, Lord, that many more have been listening than ever attended St Barnabas Weinberg in person and we pray that you'd be pleased to, with the return to services, to add some to our number. Bring them in, Lord, we pray. And we thank you for all the network evangelism that's been going on despite COVID restrictions. And we pray that this would bear, bear fruit for the kingdom and even for St Barnabas. We pray for um, the parenting church, for the parenting course um, happening every Monday evening. Please strengthen Raymond and Alita as they lead this. And Lord, the course members um, parents, grandparents, future parents, we pray that they would hear the word and understand it, that you would hide the word they hear, that they would hide it in their hearts and please Lord help them by your spirit to apply it um, wisely um, with the children in their care. We thank you that um, you are the source of all truth. So we pray for our students studying at George Whitfield College. Give them health and strength as they prepare for final exams. Help them to be disciplined in the study, even um, as, as they um, study so far from home. Please, Lord, help them not to neglect their devotional time with you, even though they, 
they are weighed down with assignments and revision. We pray that in the exams, as they write, that you would give them good recall and freedom from fear. May they, they, they know that you are ever with them and that you love them so much, even as they write exams. Finally, we pray for the preaching of the word. We thank you for Simon and how you are asking him to, how you are using him to bring us a strong, clear and relevant word Sunday by Sunday. Thank you for um, our series in Mark's Gospel um, over this year. Impress upon our hearts, the Lord, in a deeper way, who Jesus is and why he came. We praise you that he is God, Lord. He is the image of the invisible God and the, the exact representation of your being. Help us to understand that he's also the suffering servant. He's a suffering Messiah and he had to die that we might live. There was no other way. The righteous for the unrighteous to bring us to God. May we be wholly willing to, as we um, follow in his footsteps, may we be willing to deny ourselves, take up our cross and follow him wholeheartedly. And so, Lord, as we bring our prayers to a close, we pray them all um, in the precious name um, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.